Hi, another Wednesday video. You might wonder why do I do these videos and my purpose in doing them is because during COVID it was my about my only way of communicating with the congregation on a regular basis. I could send out these little short videos once a week and be able to communicate with the congregation and it was popular enough and I, there's a few people out there that watch these every week but there's popular enough to where I thought you know I'm going to continue this for a while because it gives me an opportunity to be able to share what's on my mind and my heart and perhaps uh, serves a different purpose for, for, for each person. It might be your morning devotion or part of your morning devotion. It might be your uh, you're just a, a kind of a weekly habit of, of uh, connecting this way. But anyhow, uh, that's why I do it. Now, next week, I'm not, there's not going to be a video. It's Thanksgiving. We're going to be traveling out west to see our family, to meet with, to be gather with family and friends. And I also get to see our new grandson who was born last week uh, to Stephanie and Trainer. Uh, little Merrill uh, Scott was born last week at uh, nine pounds and, and four ounces, a big kid. And uh, so we're looking forward to being out there. So there won't be a video next week, but uh, I want to share uh, just some, some words from uh, the book of Acts this morning. Uh, it says in Acts 16, verses 6 through 10, Paul and his companions traveled throughout the region of Phrygia and Galatia, having been kept by the Holy Spirit from preaching the word in the province of Asia. And when they came to the border of Mysia, they tried to enter Bithynia, but the Spirit of Jesus would not allow them to. And so they passed by Mysia and went down to Troas. And during the night, Paul had a vision of a man of Macedonia standing and begging him, Come over to Macedonia and help us. And after Paul had seen the vision, we got ready at once to leave for Macedonia, concluding that God had called us to preach the gospel to them. Now, I'm not simply content as a pastor to go through the motions of being church, doing church and, you know, Bible studies and, and, and worship and so on. And th to me, there's more to being the church than just our, our weekly rituals, the things that we do together. Instead, I would rather for us, instead of being a church, to be the church. And the church is represented by uh, every corner of the globe, all over the earth. Um, we're not just uh, this little group and a uh, little subdivision in Lincoln, Nebraska, but rather the church is the body of Jesus Christ as exemplified in all nations of the world, all languages, and all cultures. I love our American Baptist emblem, which is right behind me on the wall. It was when we did our remodel. Um, Supad will have this commission, Myron and Supad will have this commissioned by a local artist. And I love this emblem. Uh, it's, it's, it's our longtime logo as American Baptist. And what it says to me is that we're not just the local church, but rather we are global. We are all over the earth. We have missionaries in every na many nations of the world. And, uh, it's a, and so that globe on there represents really who we are as a church. Recently, we did a study uh, on experiencing God. When Henry Blackaby wrote the importance of looking to see where God is at work, uh, he, he told us that we should then join God in wherever God is at work. And this, in order to be able to do this, we don't just jump into it. We don't just say, well, I, let's do this. But rather, it's more of a question. God, where is it that you want to move? Where is it that you want us to join you in your quest for mission? It goes, there's a discernment process that is part of this, this whole idea of joining God, where God is at work. Our prayer groups have been praying this prayer, Lord, where is it that you want us to serve you? It's looking to see where God is already at work, looking for an open door, a niche where we can join God, a little corner of God's kingdom. Attending church and, and, and worshiping God in the sanctuary, it's important to us. There's no question about it. But it's not the mission of the church. The mission of the church is to go. As the Great Commission says, to go into all the world. Go into our neighborhoods. Go into the streets. Go into the businesses. Our mission is simply to go. To move out toward the 
the, the building and joining God in his work. We found a couple of ways to do this. We're working with the Bridge, a local treatment center here in Lincoln, and this been it's been wonderful. Uh, we've expanded that greatly to where now the men from the Bridge are coming for our men's breakfast once a month, and some of them are coming to church on occasion, and we're we're doing a Bible study down there every every Monday night, and so the things are happening in that particular ministry. But we're always we always want to leave the question open. God, where is it that you want us to serve you? Where is it that you want us to join you? So that it's not limited simply to the bridge, but it can go much further than that. We're also serving meals down at Matt Talbot once a month, and there's other things that we do from time to time. But it's not about us as a congregation. It's about the kingdom. And I want us to begin to see the church as the kingdom rather than just a, a building in a subdivision, a building that is a place of worship. But rather the church is an organism that moves outward into the community around us. May God help us. May God show us where he wants us to serve. Go in God's peace. I'll see you in a couple weeks.